Welcome to the Outdoor Minimalist YouTube channel. <laughs> Are you gonna keep that part? My name is Meg Carney and I am the author and host of Outdoor Minimalist. And today I will be reviewing two articles from the Appalachian Gear Company. The first one is the Ski Neck Gator and the second one is their Alpaca Blanket. I was fortunate enough to interview one of the co-founders of the Appalachian Gear Company, John Gage, in episode 12 of the Outdoor Minimalist podcast. And that um, episode is titled, What's the Deal with Natural Fibers in the Outdoor Industry? And in that episode, he gives a good overview of their company, the fabrics that they use, the materials, the sourcing, and also a lot of really good information about natural fibers. So, as you may have gathered by the title of the blanket and the neck gaiter, they are made from alpaca fibers, which is why they're called alpaca, alpaca, A-L-L dash paca. So to start, I'll talk about this lovely neck gaiter. It is designed for skiing, but honestly, I use it every day in the winter. And this is going to be a little bit gross to some people, but <laughs> for... I, Two months, I wore this every single day, and I also slept in it, and I haven't washed it. So it's actually, it smells good. So that's one thing that is really cool about alpaca materials and fiber. They act very similarly, similarly to merino wool in their antimicrobial properties. They don't hold on to odors, and um, they also are very good at thermal regulating. And so that is one thing that makes this product in particular really great for winter sports because you don't need to wash it that often. And it also does not um, like collect sweat that heavily. And if it does, it will still insulate while it is wet. So I think that this is a really great addition to anyone's wardrobe if they like to cross country ski, if they run in the winter time, even if you downhill ski or you hike, you snowshoe, you do anything outdoors, this is super, super warm and super soft. I think when I first got it, which I got it as a gift, um, when I first got it, I was a little nervous it would be itchy on my neck, like to have it directly on my skin. But the materials, as you wear it more and more, it becomes very, very soft. That same thing is true for this blanket. I don't think that there are a lot of differences between the performance level of alpaca and merino wool. I think the main reason that the Appalachian Gear Company decided on alpaca um, had a lot to do with the sourcing with their partner in Peru and the general farming practices of collecting the alpaca fibers. In general, um, the Appalachian Gear Company does all their textile manufacturing and weaving in the United States, in North Carolina, but they do import all of their fibers from their partners in Peru. One thing that is that I really appreciate about this company in particular is one, they do sustainably source and ethically source all of their materials, um, and they're very transparent about that entire process on their website. It's very easy to find, and I'll make sure I link in the episode description their website to these products as well as um, their sustainability page so you can see their manufacturing process. There's honestly, I can't think of anything that I don't like about this. Maybe the price. Um, I will say that these aren't necessarily budget items. So if you're looking for something cheap, this would not be it. But the pros of this, like the overall performance, the fact that it doesn't hold on to odors, the thermal regulating properties, um, and the insulating properties are a big selling point. It's perfectly designed so it's shorter in the back and longer in the front. So you can tuck it into clothing very easily. You can zip jackets over it. And they use for all of their products, uh, I don't know if I want to say all their products, but for sure these two products, they use a weft knit stitch, which means if you were to puncture a hole in this, it wouldn't produce a run of any kind. And so the hole potentially could get bigger, but it makes these a lot easier to repair and more durable in general. Okay, so moving on to the blanket. Um, I'll show you kind of like the general size. Ta-da, it's a blanket. Um, 
It is relatively thin. They use a natural material. A lot of blankets um, that are used for outdoor recreation tend to use synthetic materials unless they are wool. And so because this one is not wool and it's not merino wool, it is a little bit easier to care for. Um, and you can wash this in your washing machine, which I think is a pro if you plan to use it outside. As far as a backpacking blanket goes, I think that this could be functional for short trips like weekend trips and trips that don't have really strenuous terrain. It's very, very soft. And my older dog, Ash, is very, very picky about the types of blankets that he uses, especially when he's camping. Um, and he loved this blanket, being able to sleep on it and nest in it and cozy up into it at night was really nice um, for him. And I think that the softness level of this blanket, he was a good gauge for me that this one is actually a pretty soft blanket if he was willing to lay on it. These are the only two products that I have ever tried from App Gear Co. Uh, or the Appalachian Gear Company. And so I'm kind of gauging the functionality of their um, clothing and other products um, because they also have a sleeping bag liner that would be somewhat similar to this that I know is quite popular. Functionality, I think that these are very high performing outdoor pieces of textiles. Um, I love this for winter activities. I love this for shoulder seasons and winter backpacking, short trips, like I said. Um, it's also really great for car camping, van camping, and overlanding. Um, sustainability score for App Gear Co. as a whole, I would probably give their company an 8 out of 10, probably mostly because Almost all their manufacturing is done in the United States and they use natural materials. Um, and the sourcing that they do in Peru, they work very closely with their partners um, and are very much hands-on in the know about what is going on um, with the production and collection of the alpaca wool. It also is a smaller company and I find from smaller companies, they, they don't necessarily care more, but I found the relationship that they have with their customers along with um, the intimacy that they have in the production of their materials tends to be slightly higher. If you liked this review and would like to see more, make sure you hit that like button. I don't know where it is on the screen, but you can find it. And you can also subscribe to stay up to date with new releases of our YouTube videos on the YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with podcast episodes that are released every Monday about various topics regarding sustainability in the outdoor industry, you can subscribe to our Spotify or Apple Podcasts. If you want a nice clean package to know what's going on every single week, the easiest way to do that is to head over to theoutdoorminimalist.com and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. And together, we will create a better outdoor space as we recreate.